Hello and welcome to COP27 here in Egypt, a country that knows only too well what it's like to be on the front line of climate change. I'm delighted to be joined now by the head of the EIB's lending and advisory services in the European Union, Jean-Christophe Lalou. Hello Jean-Christophe. Hello Shireen. Um, now here at COP uh, there is a huge amount of discussion about the need for a fast urgent and meaningful transition, especially in the area of green energy. The EIB recently announced a 30 billion additional package as part of Repower EU. How is that going to help tackle some of the challenges they're talking about here at COP? Well, I think it definitely is going to help uh, and the help is going to come where it is needed, essentially for two reasons. The first one is that however you look at the problem, we need more renewable energy and we need more of the infrastructure that is required around this renewable energy, amongst others, an improvement to our electricity grids. And Repower EU and precisely the EIB contribution is specifically aimed at boosting our intervention into the renewable energy space and bringing more renewable energy power to the grid and upgrade the distribution grids. In addition to that, um, we are currently facing very likely an economic recession. And the value of EIB under such times is that we provide stability to the counterparts that want to invest long term. And we hear very often from our clients that the fact that they get large sums of money committed over the long term, also for long term lending, helps them alleviate part of the risks that come with financial instability and instability in the financial environment. So these two things combined should actually deliver or help us to deliver a meaningful contribution to the issue. So a hugely important signal. Um, let's talk about the, the energy crisis. We're not just talking about recession, we're talking about energy crisis, we're talking about climate emergency. What's the role of innovation in securing energy for Europe, do you think? Well, the role of innovation is important, but there is one thing indeed that we should not um, that we should not be too keen in in, in, in in thinking about it, which is the fact that innovation would be the silver bullet to all of our problems. Um, energy efficiency is majorly important. We must improve, especially we Europeans, must actually boost our efforts into energy efficiency. But innovation will, is and will remain an important part to solving some of the problems that we are having. And let me just take two examples maybe to illustrate uh, the point. The first one is um, battery storage. Now we know that we have renewables that produce energy when there is sun and when there is wind. But we also know that at night there is no sun and sometimes there is no wind. Therefore we know that we need to improve our ability to store energy and to actually give back that energy to the grid when, uh, when times so require. At the moment the technology that we have on battery storage is insufficient to allow us to do that at the scale required. So we need technological improvement. Another example, solar panels. For 100 units of energy you project on a, solar pan on a solar panel, you only are able at the moment to convert around 30 into electricity. If we want to boost renewable energy and electricity through renewable energy, we must improve on the uh, efficiency of solar, pan solar panels. And these are two examples of technological improvements we need to achieve in the very short term. And some of those watching us might well be thinking, look, you're talking about Europe, but you're in Africa. What are you going to do for us? What are the benefits of the kind of technologies you're mentioning now for the global good, and especially here in Africa? Yes, I. Indeed, there has been a very important um, message that came out of this COP uh, in, in particular, and this message indeed must be heard. I think there that the role of the European Union is first of all to recognize uh, its um, historical uh, contribution to the issue that we have at hand, and we have indeed a moral duty to develop new technologies that are going to be to the benefit of all, to solve the problem caused by all the carbon that we have in the atmosphere, and this is coming from the industrialized world. Now, in Europe, we have that particular ability to have education, to have uh, technology, and to have financial means at our disposal to develop new technologies and to stomach the risks 
that are associated to these developments because very often we will fail. So I think our duty there and what we have to do, our contribution also to Africa and to the rest of the world, is to find those technologies that are going to be the winners, develop them, bring them to scale and allow them to produce electricity and energy at a cost that is cheap enough to be actually of use everywhere in the world. And, and this is specifically what, uh, what, what the role of the European Union is and what we in EIB also try to promote by backing these new, innovative, clean technologies of tomorrow. Thank you very much, Jean-Christophe. Uh, from us, for the moment at least, that's all. See you soon.